Shalom to the elect of Yahashua Allah. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of these so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Latinos, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, you Hebrew Israelites that scatter among uh, the heathen nations, the heathens, you may look like them, but your spirit. And the, and the genealogy, the bloodline, the lineage of your father goes back to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Before we get started with this lesson, let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Recha Kodas, Ko Holoyim La, Abba Nawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham, Recha Ha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that is laboring and works. We shall want to you believers, to the Akim, by Aqua, which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. Our Baratza's this lesson is edifying and plain upon the tables. I'm your brother Malkaya, out here in Pasadena, Texas. So today's topic. Do the spirit and power you have Bashmi Yahweh Shai, Wahawachak Wadash. She that is my enemy shall see it. Alright. This is pertaining to you bald headed demons, head wrapped demons, you Israelite woman, so called black woman, Hispanic woman, Latino woman, Native American Indian woman, Israelite foreign woman. That's rebellious. You're stiff neck, you're prideful, you're arrogant, you're at ease, you're wanton, you're 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 an adulteress, you're just evil as hell. You take pride and gladness in participating um, in the oppression of your head, the Israelite man. Participating in the oppression of us as a nation because you love the oppressor so much because he gives you something called liberty. He, he gives you rewards for being wicked. He rewards you for committing murder. Yes, if you ever went and got an abortion, you will kill her. <laughs> like that one uh, comedian said, he dropped off his chick. At the abortion clinic and she wanted to get an abortion. And she came back to the car and you know the jig was listening to some uh to some music. Uh I forgot what song it was, but she didn't like the vibe. She was like, I wanna hear all that killing this shoe and shit. <laughs> and Jake responded with me, You the only killer in the car, bitch. Alright. All you is like women that likes to commit adultery. You like to go around, sleep with all men, alright? You, you, you get rewarded for, for that. You divorce your men, even though you was caught ran handed with a whole rod or several rods in your mouth. All right. You got caught ran handed committing adultery and wickedness, but yet you still get rewarded for it. Man, the lawyer, how are you? How is about to kill you bitches real soon, man? It's locky for my language, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it a hundred in this, in this lesson. All right. You Israelite woman that's hard headed as hell, especially those that know that you're an Israelite, but yet you 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 bring in that wicked ass feminine bullshit over here to this ministry, and you giving our apostles and elders, the bishops and the brothers a hard time talking shit on the lessons, on the comic board, on the live feeds, always got something to say, and you're not sincere, you're always talking shit. Man, you how about me? I was shy, shalak rayum to all you niggas, man. Right, you don't even deserve to be called a woman. To all of you niggas, man. To you, to you fucking bald-headed demons. All right. Second Edges chapter eight verse fifty, in the KJV Apocrypha. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Of course, the LGBTQXYZ to the fucking X power, whatever you want to call this, those people. Oh, they definitely walking in great pride and many great miseries coming upon those trans 
formers, those deception cons, those he moles and she moles, and I don't know what kind of mold to be head ass moles, and you know those those people, man. All right, you, you you people that that comes in that spirit of being prideful. You think you untouchable, man? Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is about to whoop your ass. Our God, our Father, Allah Yahweh Wa Wa Abanawa. Our God, our power, and our Father, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Yahweh Shai is about to whoop two thirds ass. And there's a lot more women within that two thirds chart. Don't forget, there's a lot more women in there. And a lot of y'all walking in great pride, so y'all about to suffer many great miseries. All right, let's get that in a G and T instead. I like the good news translation. Uh, um, eight and fifty. Good news translation. All right. Uh, get it from here instead. We're gonna go down to verse fifty. Verse 50. Okay, so started from right here. All right, let me uh, highlight this thing. All right, so the book of Second Edges, chapter 8, verse 50, in the Good News translation. The people of this world, this world, the age, the era of wickedness, Esau's rulership, so called white man, the Amalekites' rulership, the people of this world, this realm, right? The people of this world. Who have lived their lives in pride and arrogance will suffer many things in the last days. And those last days are going to be perilous times, man. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Then the last days shall be perilous times, perilous, dangerous times, full of danger and risk. Jacob's trouble, all hell breaking loose. The day where the world finally gets to know him the way how we know him. And the Lord is known by his judgment that he executed. He is also known as Alashadia. Terrible like demon like power. Something along that line. He's about to make it known. How he feels toward the people of this world. And he's about to suffer many things. And this lesson I want to keep it. You know directly towards you wicked ass women. That's why that scripture, uh, was it? First Peter chapter four, verse 17. This paraphrase on how that judgment must begin within the house of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh starting with the Israelites that know that they, that he and she is an Israelite. But you but you still uh promoting sodomy. You still got our people behaving like 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 the old creature that they still are. You got these these women believing that 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 pretty much she could commit adultery pretty much just because her her her, her boyfriend her man doesn't believe but she's a believer he, she got to leave him you're causing her to commit adultery so there's a lot of blood on your fucking hands man and a lot of you is like women claim to know the truth you claim to to read the bible but yet you're still out of order you don't respect order you don't fear your how about me i was shy you don't respect and fear your head your head, right? Your master, your lord, which is the Israelite men, the so-called black men, the so-called Hispanic Latino men, the so-called Native American Indian men. We are your head and you don't fucking respect us. All right? Because when you look at us, you're looking at our creator, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. All right? We are his sons, Abba Ratzaza, Yahshua Allah, he prince power. And we are your fucking head, but you don't fucking respect us. You respect the oppressor, the fucking thin-lipped red monkey more than us, the base man, the fucking cave dwellers. The same niggas that's, that, that, that's going to leave you stranded when all hell break loose, when sight collapse. And now you out there with no man. No man want to fucking deal with you. The serpent don't even want to deal with your ass no more. All, right? all because you you making $14 an hour. You're getting child support every month. You made a bag off of, uh, of being justified for your wickedness after divorcing your, your husband. You're making a bag off of him. All right. Because you got a little punk ass job. You got section eight. Food stands from both you know, government assistance. Assistance from the fucking oppressor. You is like one that, that always got something to fucking say. Profit hopping. Camp hopping. Talking like 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 you know some shit. 
You bitches know so much that you don't know, you don't know, you don't know your own role. If you claim to know so much, then why you don't know your own role? You don't know how to be a woman, but you claim to read the scriptures. You claim, you claim to be a believer. You know so much, but then the wisdom and knowledge that you have is not uh, benefiting your rulership because your rulership is crumbling right before your damn eyes. But you know every fucking thing, right? Well, we're going to see real soon our hell break loose and when the Lord finally got you motherfuckers suffering many things because you lived your lives in pride and arrogancy. We're going we to fucking see. It was like, man, it's going to be respected at some point. We look forward to see the amount of fucking fear that's in your eyes, man. That you have for your Hawabashim Yahusha. And for your head, it's like, man. We're going to see who's a fucking prize soon. And who's a weaker vessel and, who, and, who, uh, and who's a stronger vessel. Alright, so we got that out the way. I just want to make that point, you know. Y'all about to suffer many, many great miseries. Especially when all hell breaks loose. Alright, let's get this real quick. Isaiah uh, 13, 11 in the KJV. The book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11, King James Version. And I will punish the world for their evil. And the wicked for their iniquity. For their sins upon sins. For their wickedness, right? And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. A great humbling is coming. And our power is going to do that by bringing great miseries upon your damn lives. Especially you damn hair wrap demons. You so called doors of Zion. Those who are supposed to know better. All right. Everyone that's in that spirit, everyone, man, woman, children, old, young, that's in the spirit of being proud, uh, of uh, uh, arrogant, conceited, high-minded. Oh, you about to suffer many things. A great humbling is coming to your ass, man. You're going to humble real soon when your stomach is touching your back. When you're being tortured, when you find yourself waking up in the middle of... Being strapped up to all kinds of equipments because you about to get ready to perform for the for, for the wicked elites to escape some 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 real life jigsaw type shit. You gotta cut yourself open just to get a key to open the next puzzle, just so you can get to the next puzzle. Some shit like that, man. All right, y'all about to meet the real. Power in the Bible, man. He is to be greatly feared. All right, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. A great humbling is coming. All right, especially to you, hard-head as prideful, wicked as Israelite woman. All right, starting with those that claim to be an Israelite. A so-called door of Zion, but you still wicked as hell. You're rebellious. You still misusing the prophets. You're giving the man of the law a fucking headache. Instead of being a pillar of peace, you're a fucking pillar of of, of headaches. All right. Um. Let's see. Micah chapter seven, verse ten, in the KJV. The book of Micah chapter seven, verse ten. King James Version Then she that is my enemy Shall see it And shame Shall cover her Which said unto me Where is the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai thy God My eyes shall behold her Now shall she be trodden down As the mire of the streets You just like woman That likes to be rebellious And scoffing and mocking Giving the giving the, the prophets, the teachers, the men of the Lord a hard time, offending his little ones, scoffing and mocking. A lot of Israelite women like to do little skits on TikTok and YouTube shorts on the internet uh, of the of the terrible acts that, that that's been recorded in the Bible. But you like to make it into like a in a form of comedy entertainment. Ooh, oh, you Israelite woman about to get your ass whooped. 
you about to get fucked up. I'm just saying like that. You about to get fucked up. You're going to see that you are an enemy unto him. And he's going to put that spirit through his men. Who is your head. The Israelite men. You don't have a damn clue that you created so many enemies. Especially towards the, your head. Especially towards the, the, the brothers that's trying their best to make their calling election show. And, and they're actually teaching. They're prophesying. Who's going to become that hiding place. Isaiah 32 and 2. A lot of you women ain't going to get that hot in place. You're going to be left stranded out there. You're going to be left out there again. Trotted down the minor street. You're going to get your ass whooped. You're going to get tortured. Raped. Drafted over to the World War III. Uh, to, to, to the drafted for World War III overseas. Or you're going to get caught up in the wars out here. You're going to be hungry during the famine. You're going to get hit with, with uncurable uh, diseases. The pestilences. These gurgle tubes are going to be ravishing you. Doing all kinds of shit to you. Beating you with baseball bats and this and that. Getting run over by tanks, hit with cars, split open, some jigsaw shit. All right, newly created creatures chasing your eyes, molding you down, getting molded down by teeth of wild beasts, strange apparitions, monsters apparitions, robot shoes, martial law, and the list goes on. Failing the hour temptation. You don't get that C hit, the MOTB. You don't get caught up. You don't get tortured, camastizo. You don't get scorched in that, in that thermonuclear fire. You don't get hit with a, a nuke, a missile, a pocket nuke, a bullet to your head, a plasma beam to your thumb, to your stomach. You may be pregnant during the times of Jacob showing on hell breaking loose and you've been wicked as hell. You and, and that little gremlin piece of shit in your stomach is going to get... Try to admire the street. You want to get your ass, about to get your ass whooped. You're going to see that you're on the enemy. You are an enemy of Yahweh Shmuel He's going to put that spirit to his men, the elect men, even upon these these these, these two thirds, Ravens and Pookies, Ravens and and Day Days that you women love so much. The the street culture niggas, the simps who you kept in the friend zone, you've been using them. Even they going to be looking at you as an enemy. They ain't going to be simps no more. They're going to be out there trying to use down the minor streets too, whooping your ass. Forcefully, forcefully taking that used up jack in the box. All right. Y'all going to see real soon, man. And if you have, if you know you wicked as hell and you prideful about it, you're not repenting. It would be very wise to speak as a man through the spirit. Some brothers could probably agree, agree with me on this. It will be very wise that you wicked ass Israelite woman don't even try to look for an Israelite man. A man of the Lord because the spirit of vengeance may jump upon him. And you just came to the most dangerous place where you can fucking be at. And that brother is going to appease the wrath of him that made him. And he going to judge your ass in, in, in unexplainable ways. You literally about to witness that your head, the Israelite man, is a prince of Alashadia. Many most highs, many yeah, how about me always shies. And our power is known as what? Alashadia. A god the god of war. Terrible demon-like power. And the elect men are going to be the physical manifestation of that on earth. So it'll be wise that you don't even try to look for a man of law. You might as well just stay in that same spirit. Keep rocking with that wave that you don't fucking need us. Keep scoffing and mocking. All right, because Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33, when all these terrible things happen to them, right, the NLT version, and it will, then then, then will they know a, a prophet has been among this paraphrasing, the NLT version for Ezekiel 33 and 33, when all these terrible things happen to them, then you Ben Dehaz are going to know that, that, that there were prophets among you this whole time. All right. Y'all about to get your ass whooped by these gurgle troops, EU troops, everybody's about, about to be whooping y'all ass. The same dudes who you put in prison, or let's say uh, you cause one of your you cause one of your baby daddies to be put to death, and, and, and one of his loved ones, like his, his close brother, a close friend, just got that rage built up towards you. Oh, man, they're gonna be hunting your ass down, and Esau even gonna leave your ass stranded out here because now one one is not gonna be available. Ain't no one gonna be trying to come to your aid. Uh, anybody want to? Anybody gonna give a fuck about the woman soon? 
the Israelite woman, especially the so-called black woman, and you Hispanic, Latino woman, Native American, Indian woman, you ain't no fucking better. You just like this fucking bendeja. Just like her. All right? The majority of y'all. Two-thirds of you damn bendejas. All right? Um, let's get this right quick. Isaiah 32, verse 9 to 12, uh, 9 to 12 if I'm mistaken. Um, kind of. So the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 9 through 12 in the KJV. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Right, so talking to America first, because America is that woman that's known as a harlot, right? She's prideful. She's at ease. She's wanton. She's uh, free from worry. She's complacent. She feels secure. She's prideful as shit. And she got most of the woman here, most of the Israelite woman walking in that same spirit. So, you know, it could be like double fold, but it's concerning America. All right. And then, and then, you know, double fold, you no, know, you, you woman. That's at ease, right? You're wanton. You're, you lack self discipline. And, and, and you're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're sexually unrestrained. You just got to walk around and put every dick in your mouth and every dick in your vagina and your rectum or multiple at one time. Put a animals, a male animal inside of you. All these, uh, these, these, these toys that project uh, radiation is, is damaging your insides. You wonder why you can't fucking pair bond. You can't fall in love. You, you, you literally got a jack in the box. That shit jacked up. That shit fucked up, man. Your spirit is is, is destroyed. Your flesh still got. All the fucking nut from the dudes that that was inside of you. So you think about him. You think about him. You think about all the niggas. Yo, y'all at ease, man. You're free from worries. You feel secure. You think everything is good because you can still afford the the the, the stuff in this world, man. Hear my voice, which are the prophets of Yahweh Bashmiyah Shai, that has the testimony of Yahweh Shai Masiak, the spirit of prophecy. All right, who's warning you of him? Ye careless daughters. America is definitely that woman. She's careless as hell. And she got she got that vibration on, on a lot of you women out here, man. Y'all walking just like this bandeja. Alright? Y'all careless. Give ear unto my speech. Take heed to these warnings. Take them deadly seriously. Verse 10. Many days and years for a period of time, right? Days, weeks, uh, months to a year, right? You know, quite some time. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman. You woman about to go through some shit. Y'all about to see some strange apparitions. Y'all about to see monsters. Y'all about to be put into FEMA camps again, tortured. And it's, a lot is coming to two thirds of our nation. There's a lot more women in that ratio than all of the men in that ratio. All right. For the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. No more child support, no more not 11, no more any any kind of assistance, backup from the oppressor, from the enemy, right? This shit's about to collapse. This side's about to collapse. It's about to become a war zone out here. This is about to become a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's about to become a man's world. And a woman can't survive in a man's world, all right? And we're going to see real soon how much of a woman king you are, how much of a G.I. Jane, how much... uh. How strong, independent you really are in a time of war when all hell break loose. All right, no more. I uh, said the gather shall not come. Ain't nobody be trying to. Ain't nobody gonna be trying to try to you know be be captain save a hole. And if and if you do, if there's still any captain save a holes in the time of Yahweh Shai's wrath upon the whole world, you won't get caught up in the judgment too. All right, it will be it will be wise that you just mind your fucking business and meddle not in another man's business, right? So in other words, don't meddle, and and our and our power is judgment he's bringing upon somebody. So if you see a woman getting judged out there, hey, she, she getting judged for a reason. She was wicked as hell. So be wise that you don't try to save her. Leave her ass out there. She don't need us, right? So leave the bitch out there, man. All right, leave her ass out there. Anybody will be. Coming to the aid of a woman, especially the so-called black woman, the Israelite woman in general, is wicked as hell. 
Verse 11, tremble ye women that at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and girt sackcloth upon your loins. Uh, you, being able, you being able to beautify yourself, putting a fake ass hair on your head, all right? Playing Halloween every fucking day, putting fake up on your face, all that chemicals and shit on your face, all right? Uh, 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 putting uh, the big ass broomsticks on your eyelids. Big ass helicopter blaze on your eyes and shit. Freddy Cougars on your fingernails. Alright. Using all these men, these simp ass niggas. To pay for this and pay for that. Being able to wear provocative clothes and dressing. You know, wearing nice clothes and putting fake up. And put on some really good uh, perfume. It's Victoria's Secret. Alright, you about to be looking hit. You are gonna smell hit. You're going to be looking dusty. You're going to be looking real bad out here, man. You ain't going to be looking like that chick who you look like on the gram right now. Who you look like on OnlyFans. You ain't going to be looking like that soon. All right? There's about to be a mandatory fasting. <laughs> a lot of y'all about to lose a lot of weight. You about to lose that fat ass you've been working real hard in the gym with. You about to, you about, you about to lose them the, the, that toned stomach. You, you about to have a, 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 a sunk thin stomach. All right? Mandatory fasting is coming. My pops gonna make you bitch. He's gonna strip everything from you, all the goodies from you, everything from you, and girl, sackcloth upon your loins, man. Get ready to catch it, man. Get ready, get ready. Verse twelve: They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. When all hell break loose, man, <laughs> you women are gonna be begging, begging. Wishing that things went back to, to, to your so-called normal. But guess what, sweetie? I'm going to keep it a G with you. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5. This paraphrase and goes into how, like, an evil and only evil is coming. All right? Only evil. Only bad times, man. And the last day shall be perilous times, right? Dangerous times, man. All right? It's only going to get worse out here, man. All right? So be wise that you repent and quit your bullshit. And sincerely repent. Repent to you how about some y'all was shot or hey, get trying down to my the streets out here. Alright. Uh let's see. Isaiah 66 and 4. Um The book of Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4, KJV. I also will choose their delusions, and I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. So you is like women that you know you want to keep scoffing and mocking at the prophets, you want to keep talking shit, you want to keep giving uh the the the, the men of the Lord a hard time, you want to keep offending his little ones, you want to get right, you want to repent, you want to do your own thing, you want to try to squeeze in another summer, another hot girl summer. You, know, you you just being rebellious as hell. You're constantly doing evil before his eyes. All right? Doing what our power of delight of not. Especially when you disrespect your head. When you disrespect his sons. Who was given that authority to be your head, your master, your lord, to be over you. But you don't respect him. You don't respect the, the, the man of the lord. All oh, men, the lord is about to make you meet your worst fucking nightmares. You gonna you gonna you gonna learn some new shit about you. You gonna learn some fears that you ain't think that 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 you had. All right, all right. The Lord's about to choose the losers and bring your fears to life. And you women, you know, women is women already get scared when they see a roach or a, mo a mice running through the kitchen or some shit, or a little house spider. One, what do you call it? Uh, the 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 daddy long leg spider just in the in the in the, in the corner ceiling just chilling. Just chilling, Big Mackin. He ain't worrying about Eve, man. But she gets scared, losing her shit. How much more when you see a spider that's like six feet tall? When you see a newly created, a newly created creature out here staring you down, chasing you down. You're seeing strange apparitions right before your eyes. You can feel their presence. You can smell their presence. You can hear them. You you you, you can see them. Haunt you down. Alright. Oh man, you wanna have a damn clue what's coming to y'all, man. Uh Sirach, Um 39. Uh 
the C28, the Spirits and Venice scriptures, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay, so the Book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, or vice versa, if I'm not mistaken, the Book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28 to 31, in the King James Version Apocrypha, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, right? Be punishment, right? Vengeance, right? Let's go into that right quick. Punishment inflicted or retribution exacted for an injury or wrong. Revenge. Okay. Revenge. All right. Oh, even say satisfaction. Right. So, yeah. So a lot of you women are going <laughs> to get dealt with by spirits of vengeance. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. So think of like serial killers, strange apparitions. That's literally created for vengeance. That's all it knows. Feel rage. They just want to kill. They want to appease the wrath of him that made him. All right. The average two third is like bug out Jake out here hunting your ass down in that spirit of vengeance. Demand the Lord, the elect men, having that spirits, that spirit of vengeance upon them, hunting your ass down. All right. When, uh, with that scripture, uh, I shall send for many fishers and then many hunters, just paraphrasing. All right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. And appease, right, satisfy the wrath of him that made them. Oh, these spirits of vengeance are going to be giving phrases to Yahweh Bashmi Aushah when they put you wicked bitches to death. They won't be out there too. Call him La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Appeasing the wrath of him that made them. Try to you bend that house down the streets, man, as the mire of the streets. Micah 7 to 10. Verse 29 Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and a sword. Think of a nuke for a missile. A missile, right? The missiles, the, 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 the nukes. And, and, and Esau, Edom, he's the, the wicked. He's the, the, the sword of our power to take out, you know, wicked Israelites. And of course, you know, everybody else that's wicked as hell. And the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment And they shall be ready upon earth When need is And when their time is come They shall not transgress his word When these angels get that green light These spirits of vengeance get that green light These plagues get that green light These spirits of vengeance get that green light Oh man, they, they not going to transgress They not going to feel any pity they're going to be getting busy on you wicked ass woman. Doing whatever it takes to appease the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Not giving a fuck about who you was on the gram, the status you had in the, you had in the world, how fat that ad is, that ass is. All right. Uh, uh, you know, who know who the fuck you, you think you are in this world, man. They ain't going to give a fuck, man. They don't give a fuck about your beliefs and you screaming. Man, they ain't going to give a fuck about that. They ain't going to have no pity. They're going to bring judgment upon your eyes, man. Because Yahweh Bashmi Aushai commanded them. And they're not going to transgress. Alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, Psalm 7. I think 11. The book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 11. KJV. The Most High, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai judges the righteous. And... Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is angry with the wicked every day. He is angry with the wicked every day. He is about to open a righteous can of ass whooping upon those of this world who've been living their lives of pride and advocacy, and he's going to suffer many fucking things. 
He is angry with this damn rulership every day and everyone that's of this damn world because everyone of this world, you prideful, you're arrogant, you're a sodomite, you're this, and that you're everything that's just wicked as hell. You are anti Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You are anti righteousness. You are anti Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So he's angry with you every day and he's about to, he about to destroy your ass. All right. Uh, only the elect of Yahshua Allah is going to be delivered from that, man. And now we're about to say that we are the elect. All right, because it's already bad enough. It already sucks that we got to, we being chast, you know, was it the word, uh, chastised, right? Because we went off. So how much more, you know, that asshole is going to be for a two third? All right. So Rock chapter 25, verse uh, 19. In the KJV Apocrypha. Okay, so the book of Ecclesiasticus. Also know that Sirach chapter 25 verse 19. It says all wickedness. Not some, but all. All wickedness. Is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So even a grown ass man. That's a damn sodomite. A hemo. The wickedness that you women do is, is greater than a, a, a grown ass man. That's a sodomite. And you got the nurse to walk around here prideful. Like you the fucking prize. Like you the top shit. You know what? You damn right. You a top shit. You full of shit. You a top piece of shit. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. You bitch about to be put to death. Now I'm talking about you wicked ass woman. Alright. If the shoe fits. Hey, strap them bitches up and get ready to run in Jacob's trouble. But for you, for, you, for you sincere, you know, uh, uh, humble sisters out there, hey, you don't got nothing to worry about. Keep doing your thing, you know, you know, in, in the sense of, you know, be, you know, trying to be righteous in the best of your ability. But the rest of you is like women that don't want to believe, you don't want to get right. Hey, fuck you too, man. See your eyes in the kingdom of heaven while you're dealing with reproach. All right. Um... Let's see, uh, Proverbs chapter 6, um, 16, 19. Um, okay, I'll be that we end it with this. The book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19 in KJV. Six things, Salakia, these six things do with the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I hate. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. A proud look. You're haughty. You're prideful. Conceited. High-minded. Right? A lying tongue. Niggas that just love lying. And hands that shed innocent blood. Alright? You women like to commit uh, abortion. You saw, you know, so-called white man, you know, in your, uh, your modern day... Roman slave patrol officers, your AK police officers, so called protect and serve, but really you're here to oppress and kill Yasha Allah, Israelites. You got to shed innocent blood. A power hate show ass, man. Now you two third Israelites that's out there shedding the blood of your own people. Alright? Hey, a power's gonna he's he gonna get your ass too. At least you repent and be sincere about it. Alright? But two third ain't gonna fucking repent. And heart that devises devises wicked imaginations. Oh man, them wicked uh the them damn Edomites, the Emlekites. Oh, they definitely do that shit every day. One to them that devise iniquity, right? That work evil upon their beds, just paraphrasing. Alright. And heart, which is the mind, right? The lob. That devise wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift and run into mischief. You're so quick. To go fulfill the wicked deeds that you thought about, man. All right? You're so quick to run to commit adultery. You're so quick to run to do wickedness, man. A power, he hates some things, man. People like that. Verse 19, a false witness that speak of lies. And he that sowed discord among brethren. All right? So a false witness, man. You know, you out there lying about this person did this or this person said that. But really, he, ain't, he and she ain't do it. Walk onto your stupid ass, man. For an example, think of polite for an example. All right, he falsely accused of brothers being rapists and stuff like that. And look what look what happened to him. He was charged for that, and now his ass is locked up. 
All right. And he that discord among brethren always trying to like start problems with within within brothers. Okay. Um, let, me just, let me get that in the GNT real quick. Uh, yes. Um, it's, it, it's A, B, C, all down to G, but G would be verse 19. Right down here. It said, and someone who stirs up trouble among friends, a fucking troublemaker, man. I right, power hates all these people right here, man. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that kill innocent people, a mind that thinks up wicked plans, feet that hurry to do, uh, feet that hurry off to do evil, a witness who tells one lie after another, and someone who stirs up trouble among friends. All right, but is out. The lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all better repent. You you woman, you it's like woman that hasn't repented yet. Alright. Alright. Uh uh don't uh, stop stop tearing, right? Sirach five and seven. Uh, make no tearing turn to the Lord. Alright. Don't postpone it. You better repent. Get right. And, and you it's like woman that's been scoffing and mocking lately. Always talking shows sure got something to say. Got Baratza. This hit your feelings. It cuts you deep in the spirit. It makes you realize, like, yo, let me get my shit together. Let me let me repent. So I, I don't get trodden as a mire the streets and I don't I don't meet my my my, my worst nightmares to life. Alright. Abaratas out you was edified. Alright. Let's close out by giving a much to do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha Kodas, Kolo Imla, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha Kodas, double honesty the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you and say Akim as labor and works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim Wa Aqwa, which will be your brothers and few modest and sisters who subscribe to this truth. Kwam Yashallah.